What's up weirdos? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia and today we're doing something a little bit different. So I saw that Fangoria has released their nominees for their Chainsaw Awards. So today I'm going to be taking you through the ballot and telling you who I'm voting for and where I need to catch up because there were some movies on here that I actually hadn't heard of. So I'll let you know about that as well. Obviously you should not vote for who I vote for. You should vote for who you want to vote for. But this is just me telling you what I'm doing about it. So, okay. So I have my computer right here so I can read everything, but I will also go ahead and post the nominees right up here. So the first one is Best Wide Release Movie. So for that we have Halloween, directed by David Gordon Green, Hereditary, directed by Ari Aster, Overlord, directed by Julius Avery, A Quiet Place, directed by John Krasinski, and Upgrade, directed by Lee Wannell. So I am so bad at like picking my favorites of things, especially movies. Like, it's so hard, but I'm going to do my best. So for this first category, I think I'm going to have to go with Hereditary. I really think that was the best movie of 2018 for me. I will link my review of Hereditary down below, but for me, I, like, I think that's what I have to go with. Next category, Best Limited Release Movie. So for that we have Anne and the Apocalypse, directed by John McPhail, Mandy, directed by Panos Cosmatos, Revenge, directed by Coralie Farget, Suspiria, directed by Luca Guadagnino, and Terrifier, directed by Damien Leon. Woo! This, is a, this one I think is even tougher honestly. Um, but for me, I think I want to go with Suspiria. I know um, some of you guys didn't love Suspiria, but for me, it just felt like such a different brand of horror that really creeped me out. Like I was genuinely scared and on the edge of my seat for a lot of that movie. So I, I am going to go with Suspiria. Okay, now we have best streaming premiere movie. So I think all of these are on Netflix. So first on here, we have Apostle directed by Gareth Evans, Bird Box directed by Suzanne Beer, Black Mirror Bandersnatch, directed by David Slade, Cam, directed by Daniel Goldhaber. <laughs> that was so weird. Goldhaber. Oh my gosh. Okay. Veronica, directed by Paco Plaza. So, uh, I actually have seen all of these, which I feel pretty good about. Um, for me, I think I'm going to have to go with Cam. I loved Cam. I watched it twice. I'll probably watch it again. I made all my friends watch it. I just think it's such a cool horror movie. Um, I, that's what I have to go with. I loved Cam. Okay, and now we're getting into two categories that fill me with embarrassment. I haven't seen any of the movies in these next two categories, and I'm like, how is that possible? So I'm just going to read you the nominees, and then I personally am going to go on like a crazy, I'm going to try to watch as many of them as I can before the 29th so I can make like an actual informed decision, you know. Um, but right now I'll just read you the nominees. So for best foreign movie, we have Blew My Mind, directed by Lisa Brulman, Cold Hell, directed by Steven Ruzowitzki, The Housemaid, directed by Derek Nugent, The Night Eats the World, directed by Dominic Rocher, and Terrified, directed by... Damien Rugna. And then this next one. Oh god, I feel so guilty. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. It's best first feature. We have Cargo, directed by Yolanda Ramke and Ben Howling. The Cleanse, directed by Bobby Miller. The Dark, directed by Justin P. Lang. Ghost Stories, directed by Jeremy Dyson and Andy Nyman. The Ranger, directed by Jen Wexler. Once again, haven't seen them, but I will. And then I will let you know, like on Twitter or something, who I'm voting for. Okay, next we have Best Series. So we have American Horror Story Apocalypse, Castle Rock, Channel Zero, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and The Haunting of Hell House. Whew, also tough. It's been a pretty good year for horror series, but I think I'm going to have to go with Haunting of Hill House. I was obsessed with it. I loved it so much. I'm actually reading the book right now because I was so into it. Um, so that's what I'm going to have to go with. I mean, I liked a lot of these other ones as well, like I really did, but I had to go with Haunting a Hill House. Okay, now we have Best Actor. So we have Nicolas Cage and Mandy, James Jude Courtney slash Nick Castle in Halloween. We have Anders Danielson Lai in The Night Eats the World, Matt Dillon in The House That Jack Built, and Logan Marshall Green in Upgrade. So for this one, I have to, I this is a shocking statement for me because I am not a huge Nicolas Cage fan. But I have to give it up for him and Mandy because that was the wildest ride I, of my life. Like, watching that movie with him was so insane. Like, he he deserves he deserves this chainsaw. Like, no one else could have done that role in the same way he did. I just, good job. Good job, Mr. Cage. So next we have Best Actress. And for that we have Nadia Alexander in The Dark, Emily Blunt in A Quiet Place, Tony Collette in Hereditary, Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, and Violetta Sherlalo. I think is how you say it, in Cold Hell. Okay, so here I go again. 
it's Toni Collette. Honestly, I was shocked, as I'm sure many people were, that she wasn't nominated for an Oscar. So I have to give her my vote here. I have to do what I can, people. I have to. Okay, and next we have Best Supporting Actor. So we have Chance Bennett in Slice, Joshua Leonard in Unsane, Linus Roach in Mandy, David Howard Thornton in Terrifier, and Alex Wolf in Hereditary. I mean... This is pretty easy for me. I mean, I know I'm biased because I interviewed him on this channel, uh, which I'll also link down below. But David Howard, Thornton, and Terrifier, I thought that was one of the craziest physical performances I've seen in a horror movie in such a long time. He is so specific. He is so scary. You win. You win in my mind. And I hope you win in the mind of the internet as well. All right, now we have Best Supporting Actress. So we have Simon Landers in Cargo, Millie Shapiro in Hereditary, Millicent Simmons in A Quiet Place, Marley Sue in Anna the Apocalypse, and Tilda Swin in Suspiria. Okay, I am giving this to Miss Tilda Swin because you are such a weird lady in the most wonderful of ways. Like, she is, her acting choices are just out of control, and I am here for it. I love it. All right, now we have Best Director. So we have Ari Aster in Hereditary, Penos Cosmatos in Mandy, Coralie Farget in A Revenge, John Krasinski in A Quiet Place, and Damian Rugna, Terrified. For this one, I'm going with Penos Cosmatos because Mandy was so... First of all, just freaking insane movie. You have, if you haven't seen it, like, don't do drugs before because the movie will make you think you're on drugs. It's so crazy. And I think that's got to be from the direction. I think the direction of this movie is brilliant and makes it so uh, unsettling and amazing and also funny and confusing. It's so good. Just watch it. I love it. All right, and now we have Best Screenplay. So Ari Aster, Hereditary, Scott Beck and Brian Woods and John Krasinski for A Quiet Place. David Frain for The Cured, Issa Mazi, I hope I'm saying that right, for Cam, and Bobby Miller for The Cleanse. Tough. Okay, I think I have to go with Issa because that script for Cam is so cool and from a, such a different perspective than most horror movies I see, especially with it dealing with a main character who's a Cam girl, I just love how the movie was handled script wise and I thought it was amazing. Okay now we have best score so Fabio Frizzi, Puppet Master, Frank Ilfman, Ghost Stories, Johan Johansson, <laughs> sorry, Mandy, <laughs> um, Colin Stetson, Hereditary, and Tom York for Suspiria. For this one, uh, definitely Johan Johansson, which I'm sure I'm saying something wrong in there. Um, but I, I think the score for Mandy is what really made it for me. Like I tried to get as many people to see it in theaters as possible because the score and like the sound was what was so crazy about it and like really a part of the experience. So I think having the sound be that much of a character in a movie was pretty incredible. So I have to go with Johan. Okay, so now we have best makeup effects. So we have Marcos Beretta for Terrified, Mark Collier for Suspiria, Orion De Neve for Mandy, Zane Nisley and Marisa Clements for The Dark, Damien Leon for Terrifier, and Christopher Nelson for Halloween. For this one, I'm definitely going with Damien Leon because the amount of insane gore in that movie um, and just art the clowns like prosthetics and face and all that in itself were so impressive to me, especially for like a generally lower budget movie, were so amazing. And the fact that he like created Art the Clown, directed it, and was able to do all the special effects stuff, like insane. Insane. And now we have our final category, which is best creature effects. So for that we have Arturo Balciero for Cold Skin, Adam Johansson for Possum, Nicholas Podbury and Werner Pretorius for The Cleanse, Sierra Russell and John Russell for The Ritual, and Tate Steinsiek for Puppet Master. So this one's tricky because I've only seen one of these movies. I've only seen The Ritual. And I thought that was an amazing monster, like so insane. But I haven't seen the rest of them, so I think I am going to try to look them up before... Um, I do my actual voting and see if I can check out a couple more of the movies. Also, once again, if you've seen those and you have suggestions of which ones I should check out first, please let me know down below. Oh, also they let you write in your favorite kill, so whatever your favorite kill was for the year. Um, for me, 
I mean, I just have to go with the one that, like, is the most memorable, which is definitely Terrifier with Art the Clown sawing that girl in half. It's just, like, I'll never forget it, uh, and I just think that was the best one. I just think that's it. Okay, anyways, so that's it for me. I try to be super honest with you guys about, like, what I've seen and what I haven't seen. Um, so I definitely will work on seeing the rest of those by the 29th. But I want to make sure you guys had enough time, if you hadn't heard about it, to vote. Um, so I'm putting up this video. Also, please let me know down below who you're voting for. And everyone be super nice to each other, because I know sometimes with voting, people can get a little judgmental or whatever. But I am here to open. I would love to know who you voted for. I would love to know if you voted for different people. That's all cool for me. So I will see you in my next video and have a nice screen. Bye.